Once upon a time, there lived a young man named Ananda. Ananda had a restless mind that often wandered into the realm of impure thoughts and desires. He struggled to control his lustful tendencies and sought guidance on how to overcome them. Hearing of the renowned wisdom of Gautama Buddha, Ananda decided to seek his advice. One morning, Ananda embarked on a long journey to reach the monastery where the Buddha resided. After days of travel, he finally arrived, tired but determined to find a solution to his troubling thoughts. Ananda approached the Buddha, who was seated peacefully under a bodhi tree, radiating tranquility. With great reverence, Ananda bowed and shared his struggle with impure thoughts and how they hindered his spiritual progress. The Buddha listened attentively and responded with a gentle smile. He said, Ananda, the mind is like a clear pool of water. When left undisturbed, it reflects the purity of the surroundings. However, when agitated, it becomes muddy and loses its clarity. Curious, Ananda asked, but how can I stop these impure thoughts from arising in my mind? The Buddha replied, just as you cannot prevent birds from flying over your head, you cannot control the thoughts that come and go. However, you can choose not to entertain them or allow them to take root in your mind. Ananda looked puzzled, so the Buddha continued, Imagine yourself as a gardener tending to a beautiful garden. If weeds sprout amidst the flowers, it is your duty to pluck them out before they multiply and choke the garden. Ananda nodded, grasping the metaphor. He asked, but how do I pluck out these impure thoughts? The Buddha explained, through mindfulness and self-awareness, you can recognize the arising of such thoughts. Acknowledge them without judgment and then consciously let them go. Do not engage with them or feed them with your attention. Ananda reflected on the Buddha's words and asked, what if the thoughts persist despite my efforts? The Buddha replied, Persistence is key, Ananda. Just as a river smooths a rock by flowing over it repeatedly, you must diligently practice redirecting your thoughts towards wholesome and virtuous actions. Engage in acts of kindness, meditation and self-reflection. Cultivate compassion and seek the company of those who inspire purity of mind. Inspired by the Buddha's teachings, Ananda realized that controlling his thoughts required constant effort and discipline. He expressed his gratitude to the Buddha and vowed to embark on the path of self-transformation. As Ananda continued his journey, he faced numerous challenges, but he persevered, applying the Buddha's teachings in his daily life. Gradually, he experienced a shift in his consciousness. His mind became clearer, and the impure thoughts lost their power over him. Years later, Ananda returned to the monastery to visit the Buddha. As he approached, the Buddha recognized him and greeted him warmly. Ananda bowed and said, Master, your teachings have transformed my life. Through mindfulness and self-discipline, I have overcome the grip of impure thoughts and found inner peace. The Buddha smiled, his eyes filled with compassion. He said, Ananda, you have realized the power of your own mind and the potential for liberation within you. Continue to cultivate purity of thought and action, and you will experience lasting happiness and freedom. With a heart full of gratitude, Ananda bid farewell to the Buddha, carrying the wisdom of their encounter within him. He knew that the journey to control lust and impure thoughts would be ongoing, but armed with the teachings of the Buddha, he was confident in his ability to navigate the path of enlightenment. Controlling our thoughts requires constant effort and self-discipline. By practicing mindfulness, acknowledging impure thoughts without judgment, and redirecting our focus towards virtuous actions, we can gradually overcome the influence of lust and impure desires. 
Through persistent practice and cultivating purity of mind, we can experience inner peace and find liberation from the chains of our own thoughts.